Good afternoon, and welcome to episode number 716. And the topic today is Rising from the Ashes, How Poetic. Um, how Pain Becomes a Blessing. That was kind of what I was going to get to. Um, before I jump into that, let me introduce myself and explain what's going on, and then we get into it. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best selling author, inspirational speaker, and passionate champion for the divine feminine which is why I do these talks every day, but also why I help women create balance in life and business as I am a relationship attraction expert. Rearrange that slightly. And I've done these talks now for over two years. That's why there's over 700 of these. And today we're episode number 716. And the title again today is Rising from the Ashes, How Pain Becomes a Blessing. And I'm framing this in the relationship context. However, this is applicable to other areas besides that. And it's something that I've been not so much wrestling with, but looking at how to reframe it and represent it for people because there's a distinct avoidance of pain that some people have where, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. There's a distinct tendency to avoid the pain in the first place. The price of that is to ignore it and not resolve it. See, the thing about it is pain becomes a blessing when you do face it and resolve it, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's back up a second. So, some traumatic experience happens to you in a relationship. Some it doesn't work for you, the guy, if you're a woman, or your partner, the partner, look at it that way, make it neutral, um, has a distinct challenge, sorry, distinct way of challenging you in your life, so that basically you feel like you've been screwed in some way, shape or form. If you're upset by that, and you don't deal with the upset, then you're likely to find yourself going around in circles because You'll simply avoid, you'll, you'll break up with him, with that person. Like, sorry, I keep zooming women to men, but that partner. But you're going to end up retracting the same experience again and again. This is one of the biggest things about these challenges of pain in relationship. Is that if you keep dealing with pain. Hi, Amy. Nice to see you my broadcast. Um, looking forward to seeing the, seeing the summit launching all massively shortly. By the way, Amy is launching a summit that I'm a guest on that I will be sending out links and information about. If you want to find out more about that, join my email list. Well, I watch my promotions on social media because I'll be putting out links and reminders ongoing very shortly because it's coming up soon. Um, and I'm grateful and humbled to be a guest uh, expert on her summit. All right, back to the topic. <laughs> so if you don't deal with the pain from a bad breakup, an emotional trauma, a Problematic, problematic experience in a relationship, the odds are stacked dramatically toward you repeating it again and again. So, likewise, I'm, I can't wait to leave from my crown interview either. I'm looking forward to seeing it have ripples in the world. <laughs> oh, and by the way, if you're watching this broadcast, you're wondering how come I talk to somebody you can't see. This is a Facebook Live, and if you're watching on YouTube, you wouldn't see the comments. So this is this <laughs> this is actually a Facebook Live first. I didn't mention that at the beginning. Anyway, let me get the topic off, wrapped up, because I'm actually running off to an event. That's why I'm actually dressed more formally on a Saturday, not in my usual like, sweats and stuff on Saturday. I reverse. Friday was casual, today was more dressed up backwards for me, but that's the celebrity. If you're tracking my <laughs> dress, it, dress code. <laughs> okay, it's silly. All right, so the pain challenge in relationships, as in bad breakups, wounding, hurt feelings, heartache, heartbreak, all these different things, is not going to go away, meaning that it will not be gone forever unless you do something about it. If you simply go into the next relationship and you suppress, submerge, and, oh, it's that beach ball analogy I did before. Sorry, I'm, I'm jumping around in my head what I've talked about this before. But if you keep pushing it down, nothing will happen. The truth is, though, as I mentioned in the title, talks about this, is that pain can become a blessing when you face what it's actually pointing at. Because one of the things about pain, as much as it doesn't sound like it, is actually a messenger. Pain is the sensation of discomfort caused by something that's going on. That discomfort is usually something that's out of alignment inside, energetically or emotionally, that you're feeling discord about. Now, it happens physically as well. We get physical pain. She goes, yeah, yeah, let me go here. I'm going to put this out there as an indication. When you take painkillers for a headache or for a bruise or something like that, you're suppressing the pain, but it doesn't resolve the problem. What it's doing is basically shooting the messenger, so to speak. Pain is a messenger indicating something's wrong. It's a symptom or an indicator where something's out of alignment. In relationship, that pain, that trauma, that upset, 
is an indication where you're out of alignment with yourself. Because in that relationship, maybe something happened you let happen to yourself, or maybe you did something you shouldn't have done, or, or whatever it was, but you're carrying that wound inside, and it's going to cause more and more pain to you because you're not dealing with the actual issue that the pain's pointing at. So imagine, imagine pain is a big finger pointing at something. When you have pain from a bad breakup, that's an indicator pointing at something you haven't resolved yet. When you do resolve it, and you can, no matter what it is, it can be resolved. Not usually with the other person, though. It's usually your own internal, internal journey with a coach or a counselor like myself or somebody else. When you do resolve that pain, then it becomes a blessing because you now know that you've healed it and you've actually changed your relationship with yourself. The blessing really is your own relationship improving with yourself, which is kind of the, the reason why you do it in the first place. So because pain is a messenger, a symptom indicator, a pointing finger at the actual issue in the first place, you'll find yourself in a place where you might see that happen more often, like more than one time, because if you don't face the pain, look at the, what the underlying cause of the pain is and resolve it, you're going to keep repeating it because that pain hasn't, because the, because the underlying issue hasn't been resolved. I think I said that another way. The pain won't go away even if you numb it, which you can do by going to another relationship. You, you can do it by doing drugs, alcohol, whatever you want to do. Those are numbing agents, and so is a new relationship if you don't resolve the old problem, the old issue, the old, the old problem, uh, the old problem, the old cause, because that's what's causing the pain to come up in the first place. Pain, as I said, is a messenger. It's an indicator pointing at the underlying issue you haven't resolved. It isn't about fixing the pain. It's about undoing, resolving, and changing the underlying problem, issue, challenge, behavior, belief, whatever that is. So you can free up the pain and it becomes a blessing because you now have changed your own, own relationship with yourself. I said that already, another way. I'm not sure if I want to say, uh, something funny, I don't think I want to say any more because I think this is the biggest nugget in you get this point. That when your emotions are causing you pain, excuse me, when your, emotion, when your emotions are indicating pain, let me be accurate, they are being upset, they're being um, stirred by something deeper. When you go deeper and do the inner work on your own belief systems, your own emotional baggage, your own judgments and resentments, the pain will go away when you learn to love yourself more. It sounds simple. It is. It can be simple, but it usually takes a lot more work than that, but I'm giving you just the Cliff Notes version. This is why I have so much in my repertoire, besides coaching in my, my clients privately, is why I have an online program, sorry, that's why I have an, a download a meditation course called self-love practice because self-love is a key to undoing the hope wounding from past so you don't have that pain anymore it's also why i created my new course called coming home to you coming home to yourself because it's giving you tools to be more able to facilitate yourself through the process to be less pain filled and more pain free but it's not a painkiller it's a pain resolver because the messenger once it's answered doesn't keep coming back you know if if you um it's kind of like when someone's calling up and they keep calling, calling because you haven't called them back. When you call them back, they stop calling. Like you've had the communication because, especially if it's something of a, of a like a family relative where there's something going wrong, and so they're trying to reach you because something's happened. Like maybe another relative got hurt or wounded, and you're not responding. They're going to keep persisting until you respond. When you do respond, you're complete. The same thing with pain. It's a messenger that will keep prodding you, sometimes painfully because it's pain. Again, until you resolve it. But it's more about indicating. It's more about becoming aware of what's that pain pointing at, what is that pain indicating, because it is a direction pointer towards what is actually causing the problem in the first place. Pain isn't the problem. Pain is the indicator. What's underneath the pain, or what the pain's pointing at, is the problem. And when you resolve that, you get your blessing. So I'm pretty sure it's another. I'm the title another way. So. Pain is an indicator that can free you to be more blessed. Does that sound better? <laughs> okay, I'm keeping this one short because I'm actually running late to get to an event today, so I'm dressed up a bit more formally for Saturday. I hope this has made sense to you. Um, if you have any questions or want to figure, want to go deeper, let me know in the comments below, either here or if you're watching or on you, watching on YouTube. If you want to get some help in this area, please message me over social media. I'll put links in the comments for my self-love practice and my coming home to yourself course because both of those can help you. The Coming Home to Yourself is a group course and it's pay what you want, so it's a very flexible system. It'll really transform your own experience and your own, relation, own relationship with yourself. That's why I love doing it. 
And this is, so I'm getting back to where I began. And this is my personal Facebook live I do every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my, on my Facebook personal, my personal Facebook live on my personal page. That was too many personals. <laughs> this is my daily Facebook live. I do it on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. Um, again, it's usually 5 p.m. Pacific time, and I didn't think I was going to do it today at 5 p.m., but I just got it, got it in quickly before I had to leave. I've got some other things going on today. Um, replays. You find replays on my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby author, and also on my YouTube channel, which is also called Barry Selby. Please subscribe. And the playlist on there is called Messages from the Masculine. Um, again, any thoughts, questions, concerns about this, reach out to me um, over social media or put them in the comments below, and I'll, I'll send you some links if you want to get some more help. Um, but this is a key. Pain is a messenger. It ain't the cause. The cause creates the pain to get you know something's off. When you figure that out and you resolve it, then you get to have blessings. It's kind of that simple in a way. Um, so I'm just checking something here. So that basically um, is it. I appreciate you watching. Uh, glad you were here. And thanks for the input, by the way. Thanks, Amy. And uh, if you have any questions, thoughts, let me know. And I trust you'll start taking a different perspective as when pain shows up. It might be a friend. With that, thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Bye.